Hello everyone, I thought I'd uh, talk you through how to, um, well, install uh, a new sort of double din radio into a Lexus SC. Um, first of all, you'll need this. Uh, I don't see any way around this. This is this Beat Sonic adapter. Uh, <coughs> hideously expensive. Well, 300 quid plus. Uh, I did find a source in the UK for this, which was, which was quite handy. Um, you make sure there's two of them. There's a, 13, a 12 and a 13. Uh, as you can see, the 13 is from the facelift model, 2005 to 2009. The 12 is obviously for the initial model of the ST. So you need one of them. Then, of course, you need to select your, your, your head unit. Now, in my case, I've got this one, which is a, a Kenwood. Um, all much for muchness. I'll go through the, the so that's what I'm going to put in to replace the uh, existing um, head unit that, that's in there. But you also need a few other bits and pieces which perhaps don't come with it. I mean, one of the things that annoyed me you buy that Kenwood head unit, it does not come with a DAB aerial 10 quid off eBay. So you could buy yourself one of them. It also doesn't come with anything else really. Um, it mentions things about dash cams and stuff like that that it doesn't come with so it just comes as a basic unit so right how does it all work <coughs> well you can imagine it looks quite daunting you've got a spaghetti of wires here to sort out how does it work well it could have been a lot easier if beat sonic could be a bit kinder now they put bullet connectors on the end of all their units which is a absolute nuisance really but <coughs> you could cut them off solder the wires together the trouble is if you do that I, that's my preferred option but the trouble is if you do do that the problem you have then there's no warranty on it and for the price of this thing you want the warranty don't you so you've got to go with it with with the units now <clears throat> this is the um this part is the bit that came it, well this is the part that goes into oh, it comes it's the loom that comes in it will go into here in the back of the <coughs> of the unit and this is the Beat Sonic. Now I've joined them together so it looks a little bit more complicated. Perhaps I should have started this before I joined them together. But anyway, I've joined them together. <coughs> it would have been good because these are the, the, the cables that are coming out of the um, out of the loom. I don't know if you can see them. Move over slightly. <coughs> um, it would have been really nice if Beat Sonic, because this was the uh, original plug which I've cut off from the loom. That's what it was like originally when it came as part of the... Um, the actual wiring harness that came with the with the Kenwood. Now, oh, you could have just plugged into there in happy days, wouldn't it? But no. So forget that. You've got to cut it off. Right. <clears throat> what have you got to connect up? Well, I'll go through the cables with you. Here's your Beat Sonic, and <clears throat> here's the connection in, if you like, to the wiring. Okay. <clears throat> right. Car stereos convention it did all the same colors they use so even though this is for Kenwood it would work for anything let's start with the very basic ones right first of all <coughs> your cable will have you'll have enough cables for four speakers and you'll only be using two that's the gray and the white you only connect the front well those are the front ones this purple and green one are for the back so I've just put these Terminals here just to just to sort of terminate them. You don't you don't really need them for anything, uh, but hey ho, they're there, so you've got to do something about it. So that's what these coloured ones are. So the purple and the green you can forget because they don't do anything, and you don't need them for the Beat Sonic. You'll need to connect these two up, um, the white and the grey. One's the left, one's the right. Just connect them up. Because they want bullet connectors, you'll have to go down to, I went down to tool station or something like that, buy yourself some bags of these, bullet connectors to connect in, um, so you don't mix them up. They put male and female ends on here, so you'll have to put the right, crimp them on like, with a crimping tool, push them together, and those, that's the grey and the whites, that's your speakers out of the way. That's that done. Forget these speakers. What other cables are there? Right, I'll go through the ones that are connected and then the stuff you can totally disregard. You've got this rather rather bizarre pale green cable. This is actually a safety cable and it's one that would go to the handbrake. Now, the idea is, is that there's some functionality like watching 
videos on the screen won't work if the car's in motion. Up to you if you want to go and trace your hand, your handbrake cable connected in. Fine, personally, I'm not too fussed on it. Not advocating you do this because it's a safety feature. But you'll see I've just soldered it together to the to the to the ground. The black is the ground. So that is just now a ground wire. So if this is connected to ground, it thinks the car's parked, so you get all the fun functionality of the head unit. So that's that done. <clears throat> There's also another ground wire here. Now this is the one that was on the Beat Sonic. So you'll just have to connect those two to somewhere in your chassis. Next cables. <clears throat> right, let's go through the basic wiring that you need. A yellow cable here, you'll see this yellow cable from the Beat Sonic and from the wiring harness. The yellow is the constant live. So that's the the one that keeps it powered all the time. So it keeps the memory in it, you know, so it remembers, I don't know, the time, what stations you've got tuned into it, all that sort of thing. So that's the constant live. You then have another one, which is this red cable. Now the red cable is called the accessory or the what I call the ignition cable. So when you turn it on, that then powers up the unit properly to, to get it to work. This is a funny one. This is the one for the power aerial, this blue one. It's conventionally a blue and white stripe. They put the beats on it, put stripes on the cross, but in the wire loom it's like that. There were two. Now, one was supposed to be for an antenna, and one was supposed to be for an amplifier input. Well, neither, being as they both mark the same, I've connected them together, put them in one bullet and connected them here to the Beat Sonic. So <clears throat> that will hopefully power the aerial up and down. We'll find out when I put that in. So what's left? Well, as I said, you've got this one here, this orange stripey one. Uh, the orange stripey one is what's called the illumination wire. Again, as you can see, there's an orange cable um, on your, your loom that you get from Beat Sonic. This is the one that will dim the dim the display when you put your headlights on so you haven't got a big bright display at night so that's that now you can see i've got a whole pile of cables left over here and i mentioned the speaker cables there's one here that's called remote don't need it forget it one here called mute which is something to do with G gm voxel hands freeze you don't need that obviously this one has connections for two extra side cameras which I'm not going to use because I'm, I'm going to put one front and back, but I'm I'm not going to take the mirrors and drill holes in them and, and put cameras in them. I'm, I'm just not that. I think that's a bit too much. Has a strange pink wire, which is something to do with the GPS, but again, there's nothing to connect it to the Beat Sonic. There's nothing to connect it to in the in the Lexus, so that's redundant. You have one other cable that is useful, and it's at this one. It's marked reverse. Now, this one you will need to connect. To the back of your car, okay. I haven't given you very much cable about a metre here. You're going to need to extend this, and that will go to the camera at the back. Now, what I've also purchased off, e off eBay are two couple of cheap cameras. Now, this is your camera which mount you mount on the back of the car, you can mount it by the number plate or underneath the car, or however you feel. And this has two outputs this one here, which is a video output which if you go to the back of this you'll see it has three connections one says rear camera front camera and video out so obviously it'll go to the go to the rear camera um so this is going to the rear you run the cables through you have two cables at the other end where the camera is um you'll have to connect uh the black, again, is ground. Black's always ground, so black will have to just find somewhere in the chassis to connect to. The red one, you'll have to find where the reversing lamp in is and cut into it. I'll show you how to, to do that later, but you'll need to connect that into the reversing lamp. As you will, the other cable I showed you, which was this one, which you'll also have to connect it. Now, whew, trying to find that in the car could be interesting. It's not too bad where you can see with the bulbs turning on at the back. Um, yeah, unless you've got the wiring diagrams and have got the know-how, I think you're going to struggle to find that actually in the car. So I think you're going to have to run that cable all the way back. So that cable's going to have to run all the way back. That can connect on. That will then come through and connect into the car. Now, you do the same for the front. Connect that one up. The only difference is 
the red cable here, I would suggest gets connected to the accessory wire here. Uh, and then you've got that um, power, it powers the front camera on when you turn the engine on and it, when, you, when the unit's on. And again, the black just goes to ground. So that's, that's that done. I think that's more or less all the bits and pieces I, I, I need to show you. There are, um, there is a wiring diagram in the Beat Sonic. I mean, it's not too bad. It, it, it gives you some, some, some reasonable ideas. Uh, it shows you the cables you've got to connect. The, there are the corresponding colours, as I say, in the wiring loom. Don't get overwhelmed by the wiring loom because it's full of cables that, that you don't really need. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, this Kenwood came with quite good instructions on what the cables are and, and what they do and how to wire things in. Um, the I don't know if I want to go through it, but this is the back of the, 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 the Kenwood. You've got two here, which are USBs, which you could connect your phone to or put a memory stick to, to run whatever you want to for your music. This connection here will be for the FM area that's in there. There's a connection here which is which will go to the um, DAB aerial. Uh, and I think that's about it. Let's say we've, we've got the camera ones here. It has all sorts of connections in here which, you don't, which you're not going to connect up to. You're not going to use these because these are outputs for the speakers. Well, you've already taken care of those. There's stuff for a, 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 an actual camera, which is a bit strange, you know, for like a dash cam and this thing if you take this thing off you can put hdmi in here now quite why you want to connect to hdmi when you can do it through bluetooth or wi-fi to this unit from your phone i'm not sure it says you can connect a games console i'm not quite sure whether the games console your car so i can't see see that being used um there's quite a few other connections here to be honest with you i'm not too sure what they're for i'm no intention of using them so i wouldn't worry too much about that so that's part one. Uh, hopefully that gives you the idea of how to make up the wiring loom. I'm now going to proceed to tape these wires to get tidy them up a little bit so we haven't got this sort of spaghetti all over the car. And then the next part I'll do is I'll show you putting the camera in, running the cables for that, uh, installing the, um, the aerial. And there's also, you've got to um, put um, a new... Um, microphone in for this to be your hands-free as well i mean you've got hands-free in the 2005 6 model of lexus onwards but you've got to disable it there are instructions to beat sonic how to do that and I'll, I'll go through that but if you don't disable it of course your bluetooth's going to be jumping from one thing to another so you you've got to disable it i'm going to see i haven't tried yet i'm going to see if i can get the microphone where the microphone was put in by lexus for, for, for their hands-free and that is, it goes in the little lights, the, the, the courtesy lights where you come in by the mirror. It would be good to get it in there if we can. So we'll give that a go. So I'll do another video uh, when I get around to doing it and installing it, showing how I've installed all the cameras and, and, and all those bits and pieces. And then I'll do a third video about taking the dash apart and connecting all this up. Um, so hopefully I'll see you later. Hope this is useful. Bye now.